previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. What's going on with Micah's yes, hair? <laughs> we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. Good for that. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. Damn, Sadie. <laughs> Fuck. So badass. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing Small Red Dead Redemption 2 and in the last episode a lot actually happened. We started off the episode where we helped Bill, well Micah, because we went and collected some dynamite to create a diversion because Dutch is obsessed with creating some noise and diversion for our escape. We also helped out Sadie as well, she got revenge for her husband at last. We called all the remaining O'Driscolls which honestly was so badass. I love Sadie, she's one of my favourite characters in the gang so seeing her stab that dude it was beautiful, it was beautiful. We also saved Eagle Flies, I think it was Eagle Flies, not Rainfalls. We saved the sun from being captured. Honestly, it was such a cool mission. It was a stealth mission with Charles. Charles is also another amazing gang member. And yeah, we kicked ass and we saved him. So that's pretty much all that happened last episode. In this episode, we only have one on the map. It's a mission with John, so Oh God, I'm nervous. I'm nervous again, guys. This game is honestly giving me anxiety just thinking about playing it. Before we get started, a quick shout out to Patreon of the day. Christopher Luger, thank you so much, Christopher, for becoming a patron. Without your guys' help, I couldn't do this job full time. So I am so grateful. Thank you so much, Christopher. You are patron of the day. I hope you enjoy it. And so, guys, let's get into the gameplay. Mwah. Okay, guys, this is where we are at the moment. Where are we? We're in the Heartlands. Um, Here we go. Let's head over and go see John my favorite John I honestly love the progression of Arthur and John's relationship it started off really like they didn't like each other but you didn't particularly know why until Arthur mentioned that John had left his son Jack and Abigail behind and you hear him talk about it with Hosea I believe quite near the beginning and then as the game progresses, they do more missions together and they sort of just tend to get on a bit more and it's really nice to see. And now John is Arthur's main concern. And I honestly like, I think it's beautiful. That Red Dead 1 is all about John. And then I feel like Red Dead 2 is leading as to how John got onto the position that he's in and how we managed to get the courage to leave Dutch's gang and try and look after his family. Big emphasis on the try there. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's beautiful. It's so well done by Rockstar. They could have really fucked the storyline here. I mean, obviously they weren't. They're Rockstar games, but they really could have made it, it like insignificant. But the way they've done this prequel is, is amazing. Like, I tip my hat to, <laughs> to Rockstar. What's that noise? Jesus Christ! Oh, do you want some money? Fam, I've given you money so many times. I'd give you way more than one dollar if I could. Fool for love. Ooh. This happens every time. Yeah, here you go. One dollar. I'll give you my whole fucking 3k if I could, but alas, we cannot. I see the morrows and see them clearly, sir. Even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. For loyalty is both your saving and your curse. Ooh. Okay, I will. That's a pretty accurate mind. fortune. I actually had like um not a fortune teller, but I had my tarot cards read like three, two years ago, two, three years ago. And oh my god, it was accurate as fuck. 
and like some of the stuff she predicted that would happen in the future like literally happened and I'm, I'm shook. <laughs> I really want to get it done again. I know so many people don't believe that sort of stuff and honestly I'm skeptical as well. I took everything she said with a pinch of salt but when everything she said is so accurate about my past and like predicted stuff in the future that actually happened. Honestly blew my mind. It was incredible. Okay here we go. Oh wait. Yep. Here we go. John! I need to change outfits. Um, we got this. I want the custom one. This isn't custom, is it? This is not custom. This is the Winter Gunslinger. Right, let's change again. We should probably maintain our weapons as well, actually before we start. Okay, so for some reason it's not working. Oh god. Changing to our custom outfit is not working, guys. Oh, I'm so sad. Such a nice outfit as well. Um, let me just maintain this gun briefly before we kick off with the main mission. Clean, clean, clean with gun all. It must be actually a lot harder to clean guns in real life. I think you have to like take it all apart and like clean bit by bit. Arthur just wipes it down. <laughs> Um, I should probably maintain these ones as well. How are you doing? Oh god, these guns <laughs> haven't been maintained very well. I'm just supposed to hold this down and hold it down. Um, this one will definitely need a clean. I've been using it for a while. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, here we go. Oh, but look at it though. I made it so like trash design <laughs> white and gold oh it's, it's not classy at all i don't want that sort of shotgun though double action revolver volcanic pistol mm. yeah let's go with the volcanic pistol it seems pretty badass i've got high damage on it So I'm pretty sure we have around four to five missions left for chapter six. I'm a nervous person. But it needs to be done. I'll probably only record one today. Um, we should probably change this one as well. Um. Uh, <laughs> we'll get the semi-automatic shotgun. This is the one I also designed as well, I think. Oh yeah, it's the black and silver one I designed. That thing looks pretty damn classy. And it doesn't show much stuff. That's why. Pick the dark colours. Oh man, we didn't have oil to clean it, but... I guess it's cleaner than it was before. Okay, here we go. Let's do this shit. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? Always. The bridge to nowhere. I had a lot of time to think in that jail. I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along. I know. Look at them sharing cigarettes near dynamite. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can. You could give something to Jack. It's that or. Well, I don't see no way out of this. What about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... <sighs> Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta... Help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. 
Yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Okay. Push. Right, this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath oh, and play God. the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Joe, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. I mean, it's pretty fucking crazy that they're blowing I'm up sure a bridge. A stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. Okay. Right. Let me know when you're ready. Where am I taking this? I think I'm lowering it over the edge here. I'm at the bottom of the ladder. Here to your left. Here we go. Lower down. Look at this teamwork, guys, by John and Arthur. I feel like a proud mum. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. We will do, John. To be fair, Arthur's pretty fucking sick in this outfit. Although it's probably a bit warm for him. But he's probably got to chill because he's got tuberculosis. So we've got to keep Arthur nice and warm. And he's lost weight as well. So he's going to need a bit of extra fur on him to replace the fat. <laughs> I doubt it really matters, but in my mind it matters. <laughs> I'm like, I've got to make Arthur as comfortable as possible, okay? <laughs> Start lowering it, Arthur. Will do, John. Nice and easy. Got it. All right, All right climb down, down the ladder. I do wish, though, there had been even just one mention of Arthur in Red Dead Redemption 1. Like, obviously they didn't know they were going to make a prequel or whatever. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. But... Your mind in charge. Mm -hmm. Ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. But yeah, I couldn't totally just imagine Abigail when her and John are just like, you know, the whole shit's going down, being kidnapped and like whatever. I could imagine her just saying like, think of Arthur, like, but obviously it doesn't happen. But in my head it has, okay? She's like, what would Arthur do? Think of Arthur, John. Hopefully they do like a, <laughs> an update to that game. Where she just mentions him once, that'd be great. Okay. This is so much fucking dynamite. Like, this is an incredible amount of dynamite. Oh man, look at that waterfall though, guys. That's beautiful. I've never seen a waterfall, but I've always wanted to have a shower underneath one. We're good. We're good. But I can imagine it hurts like a motherfucker. And probably wouldn't be all that enjoyable. Right, there we go. Oh god, yeah, I can hear that as well. My housemates also made me um some chicken. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Go, 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 go. Master, buddy, come on. Shit. Arthur. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, quick. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. I'm ew. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, we made it, we made it. Whew, okay. 
That was so close. Thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Let's blow this up. Oh damn. Can we greet John? No. <laughs> um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Okay. Old Dust got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Go when take it. She better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> I scared the crap out of me. Huh? Arthur, my love. Come on, Arthur. Oh, we can't move. We can't move him. Oh, there we go. I was just giving him a minute to, like, breathe. We should complete the bridge to nowhere. Okay, so if we look on the map now... It's just Dutch. That we need to go see. So we'll head over to Dutch. I guess. I really hope we can find that money for Abigail and John and that it doesn't lead to just a massive fucking fight and people dying. But he's Arthur is right. They aren't the ones who have changed. Dutch is the one who has changed. With Micah whispering fucking Satan things into his ears. And sometimes your loyalty Your loyalty has to change and you have to be like sounds Sounds stupid, but it's true. You have to be like loyal to yourself and sometimes put yourself first. I feel like Arthur especially has always put the gang first. Always. 
and now we start to realize that the people he does care about are either changing or they're in danger and they need to get out of there and he wants John to have the life he didn't he lost his son and the mother of his child and he wants John to have a to be better off but what makes it even sadder is that we know what happens to John and that just makes me really sad oh god these fucking trees man they are running me around okay right let's head over, let's head over to Dutch I'll probably run to a tree along the way and if I do I'll cut it in for you guys <laughs> but if not I'll see you there here we go guys we made it back to camp um I just want to change my outfit quickly who's this hey Mary Beth hi Mary Beth um because I tried to change my custom outfit but it wouldn't let me and honestly, it pretty upset me because Arthur's own clothes are so much better than these ones. Um, here we go. Hello, this would always be my favourite hat. Hi there. Oh god, no. No, no, no. We want the gambler hat. Um, Coat-wise... This is my favourite coat. Like, even people who wear that nowadays would look banging in it. <laughs> Vest. Hello. We'll go for the. The blue. Oh god, can you hear them? They're falling apart. Don't tell the kids that, woman. Um. Fancy dress shirt, just the white one. Pants look good. Suspenders. Oh wait, I hate how the trousers are like over his vest. That's not good. Why is he wearing a weird belt? I don't like it. Oh, we haven't done yet. We need to get rid of that belt. It needs to be gone. Um, suspenders. Get the fine leather suspenders out. The blue ones. Why are we still wearing a blue shirt? I could have sworn I changed that. There we go. Maybe he's always worn a belt. Hmm. <laughs> Boot wise. Going for the deluxe in black, and then we'll go for the fancy ass ones. There we go. Much better, Arthur. Okay, now we're looking rather spiffy, or spiffingly spiffy. Let's go speak oh, to Dutch and Micah. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah, they're getting real comfortable. We need guns. My last What's boy. Coming? Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into him. What is going on? Is Micah going to be the fucking what is happening traitor? To What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin, Mr. Morgan, Charles. They try to kill my people for oil. For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. 
Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Run with me! Now! Stop. Please. Stop. Please. Mr. Morgan. Have to help me after we spoke. This is just a trap. My son, my people, will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind <sighs> Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? Go oh, all right, Arthur. Oh, fuck off, Dutch. Who knows Dutch. what other secrets I'll learn about? Who else? What, the secret that Arthur's a fucking nice person and won't just do things to friggin' get something back, like... Let's ride out! Here we fucking go! What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect! This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. <laughs> nice, Sadie. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. John and Sadie have my back, but obviously Javier and Bill, who are in Red Dead 1, who John isn't friends with, are for Dutch. We're starting to see where this Red Dead 1 business is coming in now. And why John goes out and kills Javier and Bill. Obviously because the government's orders, Look up but... Ahead. It's one of them! Are you alright, son? Eagle flies! He needs help! They all need help! Quick! Somebody help go. him! No! Go! Please hurry! I'll be... Come on! look between John and Arthur there. <sighs> oh shit. That fire is not a good sign. It's a massacre. We gotta help these men. Can anyone see Eagle Flash? There. Going across the walkway. Got what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm going to try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, then. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is sick, though. Let's fucking ride, boys. Oh, nice. This is so cool. We need to get to Eagle 
Even though it's a bad situation. Oh yes, Sadie's with me. Fuck yeah. Oh god, horsey, you're in the way here. Push forward, guys. Good to say he said that, I would have not even realised they were up there. Up here. Oh, there he is. Being a little pussy ass bitch. Shall we look close? Okay. Moving forward, moving forward. Go, Sadie, go! Charles and Sadie are with me. Oh, what legends! Fucking love Sadie so much. Arthur, get up! Thank you, all of you. We need to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find him. Right, here we go. Cowards. I probably should have stayed in cover. Oh man, Sadie gone before me. Go on, girl. There's still one up here. There we go, got him, got him, got him. Go, go, go. There's still one here. Okay, he's, he's got him. He's doing something to him. Jesus! Fuck. I need to get behind cover. Here we go. Still one over here. We need to get all of them. There we go. Can't leave any of them behind us. Oh, shut up, eagle flies. Oh, more of them. Oh, shit. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> Friggin' cart in the way. Nice, three headshots. That's what I like to see, Arthur. You good? All oh, this looting we can't partake in. Let's eat something quickly. Ah, oh, bless Arthur. Can't even eat without fucking coughing up his lungs. Need help? Thank you. Damn, damn. Oh, you deserve to die. Oh, friggin' box. There we go. Pushing up! Oh god, they're coming from the side. They're coming from the side. Ah, 
Ow. Oh no, Arthur! Arthur, 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 you've got this. Calm down, calm down. Arthur, breathe, Arthur, breathe. Fallen, I really need to get out of here, fam. Flee! 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 Fucking hell, Forzen. Oh god, Forzen. Okay, we got him anyway, but really, Forzen? Now's not the time to be all dramatic. So good of you to join us. <sighs> Fuck Hello, off, sir. Dutch. Hey, saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. What was our we ticket out of here? Office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. I know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. This cupboard? Cabinet. Health cures. A billfold. I got some cash. How much? I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. Something doesn't feel right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have this feeling. Maybe it's because the ball is broken and I'm freezing my ass off sat here right now. But something doesn't feel right. <laughs> There's everyone going to be captured outside. Did you hear that? It's so quiet. Gentlemen, we're here for you. <laughs> Friend. Get in there. Shoot him. Find him. Now. Oops. Oh no. Oh shit. I covered ya. I'm throwing dynamite everywhere. Oh god! Arthur! No! No! I'm so mad I, I actually have angry tears. Uh, 
you, you silly fool! Come on! I'm home. You saved my life more than once. To give mine for yours, it's as it should be. Come on! We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Oh, we got some money. And with the train job... <coughs> but we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. <laughs> sure. Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what PT as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men... Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this... About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know... Dutch... Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and... We couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines... been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, the Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. Hey, wait for me! Sorry, dude, I didn't know you'd fallen behind. Come on, we gotta stick together. So I was saying, I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is. I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Your friend here? My friend? He's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north. Wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No. This is over. For all of us. Peter! Yes. Peter! It's okay, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. It's the chief's son. I think he's been shot. Oh no. He is wounded. Bring him to me.
compaixão. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Hilfe brauchten. Oh mein Gott! Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber. It's the German people we saved ages ago. Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna end the episode there. The ending of chapter six will be next episode. <laughs> I do want to play it now, but I have to go. St <laughs> I have to go straight, unfortunately, which is slightly annoying. But I, I just don't even know what to say. Um. I fucking hate Dutch so much. He stood there. Again. He stood there when John was taken and he stood there when Arthur was about to die and just watched and then walked away. And then fucking denied it all. If I was Arthur, I would have walked out and shot him straight in the fucking face and been like, fuck you, you inconsiderate fuck. But unfortunately we can't do that. Arthur is on his last legs, it seems. So guys, next episode will probably probably be the last video of Arthur. I'm already getting upset. Oh! <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> well, I'm already crying. That hasn't even happened yet. Okay, guys. I'm going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to smash that like button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and the notification bell. It's free. Ring that channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.